iTrek started as a company focused on recycling all the leftover electronics from the community, but it grew into a thriving business. We have two ways to make money. Um, what we do is we everything that comes in is actually looked at for reuse first, because obviously if it's uh, able to go to a school or sold to someone that may not have the money for modern technology, it's better than destroying it. In order to truly be a green business, Owner Ray Dow says his company needed to reuse more of the parts they were getting, and that's what led to the opening of R2E. Basically, we had too much good material because we have a lot of uh, higher-end clients. They recycle at a, a different rate than the average consumer does. So what we had to do was open a retail store because otherwise it just wasn't going to be green. Because a reuse is the first part of recycling, and if we didn't at least try to reuse it, make material available for... Uh, the everyday user, uh, then we wouldn't have really considered ourselves to be a green company. Besides repurposing more of the equipment, Ray says this store gives lower income families, students and vets a chance to own a computer. They come in here, they can, they can walk out with a desktop computer, dual court, it's gonna handle everything that, that the average person is going to do. Uh, for around $130, $140. And it's material that otherwise would have ended up uh, just being sent back to a, a refiner and torn down back to its basic materials without its full life being used. Ray is taking this mission a step further. They've started a campaign to raise money for some area nonprofits so they can purchase computers. One way he plans to raise funds, by auctioning off this old operator's board. What it is is an old PBX box, uh, uh, telephone communications. They'd have it sitting in a building if they needed to connect from one place to another. A really neat piece of uh, uh, Medford uh, history. The new location also meant adding a few more jobs. Ray says keeping this whole operation as local as possible is what the green business plan is all about. In Medford, Joe Camerlinghi, NBC5 News.